Hello, welcome back to Anthony TV. Uh, thank you again for joining me today. Um, today we're going to be talking about um, my opinions on um, Arizona joining the Big 12. Well, I, I believe they should join the Big 12. Still not official yet, but um, I, I have a really good feeling that they that there's a very good chance that they're going to join. Um, I'm going to talk about that and kind of my reasonings on um, why I really feel um, Arizona should leave the Pac-12. I'm kind of, kind of tired. I kind of been feeling tired and fed up for a while about the same matchups um, year in and year out. I mean, it was fun, fun, you know, when I was a kid in the '90s and, um, the, you know, the 2000s, maybe even the 2010s. But we're in the 2020s now. It's time for a change, you know. And, and um, I'm, I'm. Really glad that we were able to play up against, you know, Oregon, Washington, Cal, Stanford. We still have them all this year, this coming season, but, um, or most of them anyway. But, um, yeah, it's fun. And, of course, USC and UCLA, they're gone already. So it was fun playing them while they were in the conference. Um, but, you know, it's time to it's time to move on. It's time to move on with the, we need to get to the Big 12. There will be better matchups in the Big 12 now. I would love to play BYU. Um... I would love to play uh, TCU. Um, there's there's a Texas Tech, Baylor. Um, there's a bunch of schools out there. West Virginia, um, Cincinnati now. Uh, football and basketball. I remember Arizona Cincinnati, a game in 1996. Um, I think it was yeah it was for basketball. It was in 1996. I remember it was spring of '96, so it was the year before we won the national championship. Um, Miles Simon hit like a half court or a full court or something like that, and we won the game. We beat Cincinnati, I think, by like, by that bucket right there, by one point, I think it was. And um, so, I mean, uh, there'll be a lot of great, great matchups, great possibilities here. Um, BYU, we, we play them, con we were playing them consistently in football um, previous years, not too long ago, I want to say about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago, and 15 years ago, around there. Um, so we, we play them pretty regular, regular airy. Sorry, my tongue got twisted on that word. But um, we played them pretty often, and I would love to be playing up against them. Um, he, oh, these are maps from the last slide. Um, these are uh, the ones that you see. This was option A, uh, the last one. B, this is my personal favorite. I think San Diego State. Um, I think they should join. I mean, I don't know what's going on with them. A quick update on them. Uh, I guess the Mountain West doesn't want them back after all, or at least that's what it sounds like. They'll let them come back for two more seasons, and then they got to go. So um, Big 12 should start talking to them and make, make something with them where they like, hey, you know, do your two years and then come with us, but let's see if they want to invite them still. I don't know if they have invited them or at least spoken, but um, let's see what happens. And then this is what I think. This way, I think we'll we'll eventually be pieced up on this side here. I'm, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but this map here. Little by little, I think the Big 12 will obviously one of these days become this. It could very potentially become that. This right here on this side will be basically SEC and Big 10 blended together. Once they get, you know, Big 10 goes after these schools over here in the West Wing. So I really believe the Big Ten, could, and there's possible that if ASU and Utah could be over here, if that's the case, then you know we grab two more for this, for to fill this up over here somewhere. Uh, which two we don't know yet. That'll probably be for a future video. If you want to throw ideas in there, go right ahead. But um, yeah, you could take a screenshot of that too, and uh, that's the full realignment. Um, you know the Goliath side and the David side. So that's why I did those symbols right there. But anyway, that's. And then maybe that's the possible um, Big 16 logo, but yeah. Anyway, I really feel like Arizona. Sh I'm just, I'm just done with the with the Pac, the Pac-12. I'm just, I'm just done with it already. We we were there for a long time. Um, if ASU wants to come, fine, they come along. But if not, I mean, I'm, I would welcome uh, San Diego State or Utah or anybody. Uh, Colorado. I, if if we go, Colorado's coming too. If Colorado goes, we're going to. I think I I really feel that I, we could be wrong, but um, th this that branding iron has been kind of 
on fire for quite a while now, you know, so uh, we'll go ahead and end it back here where we started. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to, wanted you to go ahead and look at the maps there so you can see all the different possible matchups. Um, if you didn't take screenshots of them, well, you could rewind it and and um, <laughs> take them. We can go through it one more time. I'll go through it one more time. But anyway, yeah, thanks for uh, the, the last video. Got a lot of um, a lot of views. Let's try to get 2,000 on it, though. Um, if we can, I think we got like 18, about 1800. So let's see if we can try to get 2000. So let's go back here. I'm going to finish where we started. There we go. That's a cool logo. I think it blends so good together. And then, yeah, for basketball, I mean, it's scheduling wise, it's really easy. Um, let's go to the map here. I want to show you guys an example. Sorry. I, I know I'm annoying with these maps sometimes, but. I like this one so let's say here let's say that's why i had it color coded in the last video so for basketball you play these three home and away every year that's colorado byu san diego state you play these three every year it could be any of the other you know it could be asu or it could be utah that other team there but anyway we're just using san diego state for this one because that was my favorite map and um over here it'll be the same thing for like oklahoma state you know the, or kansas excuse me it'll be the same thing for kansas to play Oklahoma State twice a year, home and away, Kansas State, Iowa State. Same thing for Cincinnati with these three over here with with the West Virginia, UConn, and UCF. And then same for you know TCU here, Tech, Baylor, and Houston. Um, then what what happens is you play everybody else once, so that's six games here because you play everybody. That's three teams I know, but you play them twice, so that's six. And then you play everybody else once. So there's 12 teams left. That gives you that gives you a 18 game conference schedule, which is perfect. And then um, and then the other teams that you that you the other 12 teams, you play on their court one year, and then they play on your court one year, and that you know they alternate like that. So every other year, so it's a very smooth transition. Um, I'm gonna mention somebody here that's gone over this already before, and it's actually his idea, but. Um, Deep Purple, the or Deep Pur or Go Power Cat, he um, mentioned it, and I, I like that. I like that. I love that idea. So I'm using it here too, and um, I just kind of want to go a little bit more deeper into it. Um, and just wanted to mention, um, so yeah, that was a basketball schedule. And now I wanted to mention the football schedule. Um, so it would pretty much be the same thing, kind of like, but it'd be half of um, it'll be like a rotation of who you play. So um, you play these three every year again when your color you play those three you just play them once for football you don't play them twice like you do in basketball you just play them once for one time for football go home and away will change every year um and then um so you play those three and then everybody else you play from you play one team no excuse me it's two teams you play two teams from each of the other colors so you you play so arizona will play these three every year they'll play two from the orange two from the green and two from the blue and then the two that they play in year one, year two, they'll play the other two. So, so, and then the other year three will play the same ones from year one. And then year four will be the same ones from year two. So it'll alternate like every, everybody else will be every other year. So you play your color every year and then you're, and then the other three colors, you play two teams, um, every other year. So, uh, it, pretty basic, you know, I think that'll be a smooth of easy way to schedule that will that will, that will um that will um i think save a lot of time so and the only thing you need to have time for is really the um the non-conference you know have time you know and see which and i guess you can have some neutral site games depending on the big matchups here conference matchups here um so you know like stuff like that but other than that this is pretty much pretty much a smooth um I, I don't like to do neutral site games for conference games i think it's cool for non-conference games but conference games I just like it to be it, just home and away. That's it, you know. So uh, uh, let me know what you guys think of this idea. Let's go back over here so we can see that. Kind of put it out there that Arizona to go to the Big 12, you know. So I think there'll be a lot of cool matchups, though. You know, I really do. And um, you let me know what you think. What favorite matchups would you think would be from that 16 or any of the, any of the other 16 on that map? Or what other what other um, teams do you think could join the Big the big big 12 and when it becomes 16 eventually i know it'll be 12 14 then 12 and then probably 14 again and then maybe 16 so it'll be a little while but 
Um, but who knows? It'll, it could be a while. It could be quicker than we think. You just never know. But I think the one piece that needs to fall is Arizona um, going to the Big, Big 12. I think the Pac-12, we're, we're, it's history, guys. We're done. I mean, I don't know what else to say. And I don't, I've don't. i never wanted bad things for the Pac-12. They had a lot of promise. Um, but, you know, things. a lot of things just messed it up, you know, and... Um, if it recovers, it recovers. I, I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't. I just don't know. I just don't know. A lot of things don't look good, and um, they haven't looked good for quite a while. And it's just, how much road do you have to keep that that can going? You know. So um, I don't know. Uh, let me know you guys, your guys' opinions, and um, thank you for the for the all the views on the last video. I hope this one gets even more. And um, please like, share it. Sharing is. Um, big one here and um comment is are great too i love reading and responding to comments um and let me know what you think just be honest and um that those are my honest opinions and i like to know yours too so uh appreciate the views guys and um and i don't know all i can say from this point on is um it's not official yet but you know let's see what happens so bear down big 12 until next time take care guys